Hello fashion sellers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a rotary cutter. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got two examples of a rotary cutter. What you use a rotary cutter for is for cutting your fashion fabrics or paper. They have a handle and they have a circular blade. The first one is what I would highly recommend. It has a trigger that once pressed, it ejects the blade and once you release your hand, the blade goes back into position. Therefore, it's not a danger. The second is like a Stanley knife, which has the blade covering, which slides away from the blade and the blade is exposed. The only thing is once you put that down, you've got to remember to cover the blade as a security because otherwise you can actually do yourself a lot of damage. Now I'm going to show you how to use a rotary cutter. The great thing about using a rotary cutter, remember you can use a rotary cutter for cutting your fabrics or cutting paper, is that it actually can cut forward and you can apply as much pressure as well and it can also cut backwards. I'm going to try and see if I can keep my straight line that I've drawn here and it also, yeah, once you apply enough pressure you can more or less keep a straight line. There we go. Now I'm going to have a go here at cutting this wiggly line. I'm going to try forward. I may just, I'm going to try that a little bit backwards to begin with and then you do have a certain amount of control which is great with a rotary cutter if you are cutting out shaped edges. See the control? Excellent. And it's just a bit there. That's where I actually first started. I didn't actually cover that line. That's fine. And it's quite easy. Another great advantage of using a rotary cutter, it can cut through several layers of fabric as well. Now you do have a choice when it comes to choosing your tool for cutting out. You can either use shears or scissors or a rotary cutter. Now for a rotary cutter, as I hope in this video has shown you, it has that little edge over using scissors. It's a little bit more of a versatile tool. I like to use my rotary cutter when I'm cutting sheer fabrics because it's just a little bit more control than using scissors. And it's also great for cutting bias strips. I also use it for paper when I'm making my paper patterns. And also it's great for making sure you can use it left-handed or right-handed. It really is a versatile tool. So do think about maybe replacing it with your fashion sewing scissors or adding it as one of your cutting tools. If you have any comments or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time. And do remember if you're using a rotary cutter like this one, safety first.